uh, for this uh, particular meditation, I want to elaborate on a social media post of mine. Uh, I wrote, every now and then, we should have a heart's desire that God would take us back to the point that we first believed. Some of us now know church so good that we've gotten used to God. God is so vast that he truly exceeds our knowledge and our senses. So whenever we get used to God, we miss so, so, so much. My prayer today is that God would send us a refresher. Lord, give us the excitement that we once had about you, your word, and your ways. Maybe all of our titles, positions, bios, brands, books, merchandise, and gospel platforms have choked the excitement that we once had over the things of God. Lord, take us back to the point that we first believed. Lord, take us back to the point that you were the star of the show and we were not. Uh, this is, uh, you know, if I were to use a title for this particular meditation, it would be um, uh, Take Me Back. Oh, oh, Lord, take us back to where we first believed. Uh, that song, uh, the, the Drew So Much Gospel acclaim, Take Me Back to the Point Where We First Believed, was about the excitement that so many of us get when we first start delving into the things of God, when we first you know, lead a life of sin and, and start running after God. And after time, I've noticed in life after life, and noticed it in my own life personally, we get so used to the things of God. We know all the churchy slang. We know the church scoop. We know the church gossip. We know all the church history. And then we get so point to a point where we're just so close to God that God's, we treat God as if he's our first cousin once removed. But we serve an awesome and powerful God. And you should never get so used to the things of God uh, that, that you treat God as commonplace. We serve a holy God. That's a set-apart set God. He's God all by himself. Uh, we get so much, the last, some of us have gotten so much into the presence of God, P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S, -E -E that we no longer yearn for the presence, P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S. P-R-E-S-C-E-N-C-E-C-E-N-S-E. -E 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 -E, we no longer long for the presence of God. Um, we we got to go back to the point where we first believe. Uh, as scriptures declare, as the heart panteth after the water brook, so panteth my soul after thee, O Lord. We, we, we got to go back to running after God. We got to make God the star of the show. God doesn't care about our platforms. He don't care who is bishop. He doesn't care uh, who's on the circuit. He doesn't care uh, what, what honorariums that we demand. We need to go back to where God is the star of the show. Uh, in the Holy Writ, St. Matthew 18 and 3, it said, and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble, this, humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Maybe we, we've gotten too used to the things of God. Maybe we're at a watershed moment in our own spiritual lives to where we got to choose you this day whom we will serve. Maybe we're at the point where we can no longer halt between two opinions. God is, is looking over the sapphire seals of heaven's gates just to see what we're doing. Are we still panning after him? Are we panning after the things? Uh, Matthew 6, 33, are we seeking God first and waiting for him to add the things? Or are we running after things and we're just taking God as part of the thing program? It's a hard thing. All of this is what I'm talking about. It's a hard thing. Lord, take me back to where I first believed. When, take me back when I was thinking about your amazing grace. I wasn't thinking about pros, uh, uh, a prosperity platform. I wasn't thinking about an after offering. I wasn't thinking of any other demands. I was just glad that you had snatched me from a life of sin and that you have saved me, you cleaned me up, uh, that if, if I called upon you that you would answer. I, I, I sought the Lord where, where you can be found. This is just, Lord, take me back. Take us all back to the point 
where we first believe. Lord, we ask that you send a refreshing, send your spirit, cover us, give us what we once had. Lord, our prayer, and my prayer to you, my brothers and sisters, uh, is that we go back to where we feel the new wine again, the excitement over the things of God. Not the trinkets of God, but the things of God. That we're yearning after God's presence. That's my word to you today. Lord, take me back. It's my prayer to the Lord. That's my prayer for you. Lord, take us back to the point where we first believe. God bless you.